Hey YouTube, it's Shafika. Oh, honey. Yeah, I got another letter from a uh, from a young man. Oh, these dudes. I thought I was gonna get a lot of letters from women. These dudes, honey. These dudes are going through it. I got this letter from um this young dude named Eugene, right? And um Whew. I miss on. Anyway, dear Shafika, there's this girl that I've been friends with pretty much since high school. She dropped out of high school three months before graduation because her grandmother was sick and dying. Once her grandmother died, my friend just started hauling around and sleeping with a bunch of guys. Now, ten years later, she has no job and all she does is sleep until noon every day. She's always asking me to buy her clothes and shoes and to get her hair and nails done. And then she always want me to come over to her house and take her places. But when I get there, she's looking like a bone. Her looking raggedy and her nails be jacked up. So I'm like, what's the point of you even asking them to uh, get all that done if you're not even going to keep it up? Um, her best friend is, is um, getting married and now my friend is thinking about marriage and guess who wants who she wants to marry yeah me but I can just see myself married to her I will be at work all day and, and she will be sneaking guys in the house and then when I come home, the house will be nasty, and there will be no food on the stove. And then she'll have the nurse to have her hand out asking for her and Nail money. I am not going. <sighs> My boy, Eugene. Um, you know what you want out of your life. You know what kind of woman you want. If you want a woman, you know who, you know, could be a stay-at-home wife or whatever, get that. If that's not what you want, if you want someone that works just like you work, y'all can come home and clean together, cook together, whatever. That's what you need to get, you know. Um, and as far as her having all these different guys or whatever, I mean... If she's still doing all this stuff, did you say she's doing this for sleeping around and stuff and getting money and stuff from dudes? I mean, I don't even know why you even thinking about marrying her. I mean, I know you you might not really be thinking about it, but why would I, why are you even write this love, number one? <laughs> because it is, I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even be thinking about that. Because if, like you said, she hauling around, she, you can see she get money from somewhere. She ain't got no job, and she may get, you know, some welfare or whatever. But if you can see, you know, where she got so much stuff, where her little welfare check and not paying for that, yeah, somebody giving it to her, and she doing something to get that. Nine times out of ten, you know. So you already know what she is. So. I mean, this is not even a problem. I mean, if you're going to be a friend, be a friend. But just keep in mind that she she ain't going to change until she ready to change. So, I mean, I wouldn't even stress about it. You know that ain't the type of woman you want, you know. So, just put that out your mind. I mean, if you're going to be a friend, be a friend. That's all I got, you know. If any of my, you know, any of my other people got something to add to this, please, you know, put it in the comment section below. But that's all I got. Cause if you don't want it, you don't want it. That's it. I mean, there ain't no question about it. Y'all not in no relationship, so you know what is. I mean, y'all friends. Y'all just friends. You go over house, y'all. 
do what kick it or whatever. I don't know what y'all do. I don't know if y'all have since what, but from what I'm reading, y'all just friends. And um, you just you probably wish she would do better, but she's not gonna do better until she's ready. So, so that's all I got. Thanks for watching.